Welcome friends back to another episode of the Free School and Homestead. This is Wendy here. My voice is a little hoarse from uh, having a really awesome time with our unschooling friends yesterday. Um, hey guys, I <laughs> love you so much. Um, so bear with me, I'm really sorry about that hoarse voice. I just wanted to uh, share with you a little thing that we've been trying this year in replacement of a lot of the celebrations that we used to do or that other people do such as birthdays, Christmas, um, and, and just other holidays. I mean, I, I know that everyone celebrates different things, so whatever your version, if the, you don't relate to what I just said, whatever your version of those um, kind of celebrations are, and obviously the other things that I didn't mention. Um, now, we're actually not, like, not doing birthdays, but me specifically, I have not been celebrating my birthday in the way that I traditionally did in order to try and focus on the what it really means to be alive and which of course is the point of being you know, having a birthday um, instead of any any co consumerism ties to it so I, I we don't force these kinds of changes on our family even my husband she, you know Jay's if you know, he wants to celebrate his birthday then that's what we're gonna do so but in order to just try and remove that programming that birthdays come with giant piles of presents and the rest of the year doesn't uh, or at least with uh, and, and including other celebrations that we used to incorporate into our lives that maybe all year round there were surprises that we could have maybe even wrapped up this one actually was wrapped up the one that you're seeing right now the lion guard member of the new member of the family so basically we're trying to help hope see that it's not we're not trying to restrict her from this fun thing of getting gifts and there is definitely an element of restriction because if you only have them certain times of the year, then you would have to wait for those times of the year, which definitely can it definitely contributes to restriction, especially when we're talking about retail, which I mean is such a hard difficult thing for children to understand as it is. So it's kinda like being in the forest, you wouldn't go, Well, why can't we afford those berries? You know, they just wouldn't be there if if you couldn't have them. So, but in the store, there's a plentiful selection of everything. It's just a matter of what each family can and cannot afford. It's very difficult for try and under, try and raise a child who has free choice and not for them, and then, because they don't understand intrinsically why all of that that is in front of them should just be available, like say in the forest. So, I mean, because I mean, they're, we're all kind of back to basics as far as understanding this kind of a retail specifically I'm getting I'm getting kind of confused or confusing retail is a really big uh, psychological impact that I don't feel that um, is people are aware of enough so that's we're just trying to focus on making presents all the time have fun happy surprises all the time not just on you know maybe times we've, we've traditionally done it throughout the year so that long <laughs> winded explanation here is oh gosh, Kai, Kai on the lion. Kai on, sorry. They told me to. Hope told me to remember. It's Kai on the lion. Lion. <laughs> so I will always remember what its name is because I want to call, call it Kovu, which is not even part of the Lion Guard. It's from like Lion King two. So this is actually Kai on from Lion King. The sorry, Lion Guard the show. Um, I think it's no, that's not on Netflix anymore. But that's where we found it, and Hope just fell in love with it. We were at the store, and she saw this, and it was at full price. We just could, didn't have the money at the time. But last week, when I was, or sorry, this week, I was at the same store again, and I happened to know something told me to go look while I was shopping all by myself for some groceries, and I saw that it had been reduced on price. And so I thought, you know, we we didn't have this planned at all. She had no idea. I'm just gonna pop it in the cart, try and wrap it. I bagged it. I didn't. I didn't actually wrap it because I didn't have any wrapping paper. And, she woke up faster than I could wrap it, so next time I'll wrap it, but she really wanted it wrapped. But I gave her this, or we, obviously Jay's wasn't with me because I was um, out by myself, but obviously together we we gave her this, and we she was so happy, she was so excited, it was just like it was her birthday, only she had no idea what was coming, no expectations. So Hope actually knows what we're doing, which we actually discussed with her, this theory of getting presents all the time when 
we want to rather than restricting ourselves. So obviously when you put it like that, it sounded great to her. So we're just making sure we follow through so she has these exciting experiences all the time. It's her birthday, May 23rd, so it is coming up. Um, so I mean, I, I really wanted her to experience this that it's not all just her birthday, so it will make her birthday fun, but not really the only focal point where she gets this neat experience of getting a new surprise. She loves stuffed animals, so. Just thought we'd share what we kind of are ever doing regarding retail, um, especially presents with hope, because it can get crazy, and we do not have a lot of money, so we have to make sure that we're not only doing things morally um, to our lifestyle, but also we can afford it, and it's not that easy. So, just a little little tidbit on how we're we're doing things. It, she loved it. It was great. It was so much fun. Um, we do have stuff for her birthday, so that should be really fun too. We're still waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm not even sure what we're doing, but because there's no expectation of a giant out of extra crazy extravaganza celebration, just what we do together is is really fun for her. She's not wanting at all, and she definitely lets us know when she is. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna stop uh, my gums flapping now. So. <laughs> Say goodbye, Kovu, or sorry, not see you again, Kovu. Kylon, bye, Kylon. Bye. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. You guys are great. Much love from the preschool and homestead. Mm-hmm. <laughs>